I'm gonna spend some time today cleaning this out. This is the one shot lube system for the Bridgeport mill. Uh, looking at the fluid inside, it actually doesn't look all that bad. It's kind of opaque. Uh, it's not that much different. I, I can see there's quite a bit of staining on the uh, container it is in, and all this stuff's kind of nasty, but anyway, I'm gonna put some effort into taking this apart, seeing if there's anything that needs to get fixed before I reinstall it. So in this view, basically I'm showing the before and after uh, the cleaning process. I took the uh, one-shot system apart and uh, I cleaned it with um, denatured alcohol. You can see that canister in the back on the right. Um, what that solvent did was it kind of helped to get all the staining off the plastic. All the mechanical components I took apart and I mechanically cleaned with a uh, wire brush. It's there where the add the uh, plastic housing uh, that contains the oil has become brittle over time. I think this unit is probably built sometime around 1981, and so it's been in constant service. I did find some damage to the housing uh, during my clean and inspection, and I'll show you how I address those next. In the process of cleaning this, I realized that there's a crack right here you can kind of see it let me see if i can get get it to focus okay you can see it, it goes to about right here um and then there's another one right here that it's just started and it's like kind of superficial under the surface so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drill a little crack stopper right here with um with this drill bit just a really small drill bit and then i'm going to fill this line with epoxy and I'm going to cut out a piece of uh, plastic here and I will um, uh, chemically clean everything off to get all the oil off the inside and out of this and then I'm going to do it like a non-structural repair right here just to help keep that crack from propagating.
Okay, so I got this all put back together. Uh, basically what I did is I cut out this little plastic strip and um, you can see through it, I drilled a crack stopper right here. And then I just smeared um, some of that epoxy on this face and then got it all over the back of this uh, doubler, I guess you could call it. And so what that'll do is help hold that together. Um, do the same thing on this side, crack stoppers right there. And so it's not pretty, but it'll keep this thing watertight. Like I said, it's not a structural repair necessarily, but um, these uh, tanks, I don't know if you could buy them separately. I'm sure they're pretty expensive. This whole system is like three or $400. And so I'm gonna use the one I got. Um, I think it'll work. So it's all cleaned up now and I'm gonna get it reinstalled. Thank you, thanks for watching. So hit subscribe also, appreciate it.